You ready? I'm recording. Traveling, exploring, and learning on the road. Fun and family road trip. All right. How's it going? Today we have a little box opening, but let's talk about why we got what we got. So this is our camera, and we like to go around shooting videos and taking pictures. Um, we were recently in Utah, and we were trying to take some pictures of some bison way off in the distance. Well, this 10 by 18 definitely isn't going to do the job. So then we took that off, and I put on the it's a 75 to 300. Let's take a look. So it, it looks kind of big, right? You can go around and take pictures. Well, we still couldn't even get up on those buffalo as close as we wanted to. And we're sitting here with a cheap Canon camera with the kit lenses. We're looking kind of amateur. So, Harmony was saying, well, we're going to Alaska, and we want to be able to take some pictures of stuff that's really far off. And I was like, okay, let's take a look for some zoom lenses. Well, zoom lenses are expensive. Um, some of the ones I looked at were a couple thousand dollars, and as much as we want to take a picture of something far away, that's just not in the budget. Until I found something on Amazon. I found this guy. This is the Bauer 650 to 1300 with a dupe doubler, so it could really technically be 1300 to 2600 lens. So we got this. So not only are we going to be able to see the stuff really far away, but we're not going to look amateur anymore. Let's take a look at what we got inside. This came from Amazon, and I believe it was $189. Oh, and this thing is long. And there's. It's already open. Wow, it looks like the zippers broke on this fancy bag. Well, we will have to contact Amazon on that. Let's take a look what we got inside. This thing is a freaking monster. It's just falling apart left and right. Wow, look at that. That thing is giant. One thing about this though, it is not a standard Canon mount. So we did have to order an adapter also to go on our Canon. It's the, e, the ES mount, I think is what it's called. So this will actually mount on the lens and then it will allow the lens to click into the camera. So this is, man, let's take a look and see how it looks. So we'll just take this little poser lens off. This is a poser lens, right? Open up the mount. So this is threaded. Threads right on to the lens. And then it's got the little red dot. Match it up on the camera. And now you don't look like an amateur anymore. You look like a pro. Holy cow, I think I can see through the walls. We will get some video and some actual first-hand use of this guy, and we will get back to you as, as far as a review. We just wanted to do the box opening so we could get this thing open and play with it some more. It's super heavy, like, like you can't even hold the camera. So we did have to get, we didn't have to, but if we want to be able to have a steady shot, we thought we needed to get... We got a, a pole, like a, it's like a selfie stick, but it's more of a monopod, I guess is the, the correct terminology. So then we can just swirl it on there. We can get rid of this Joby pod, because that won't do us anything as far as this. And then we just walk around and be like, oh, there's a grizzly. There we got it. Feel like a hunter.
It is manual focus, so that it's not going to work with the autofocus settings of the camera. Um, and it, it's, it's only got the, I think, 8.0 aperture. Holy cow, I can read the label on that camper over there. Whoa, this is pretty awesome. And then you just slide it back to get the, the more zoom. Wow, makes it even longer. We will definitely be getting some pictures of some bears in Alaska with this sucker. And everybody's going to be looking at us because we don't look like amateurs anymore. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.